yardbook tutorial hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with yardbook so if you are someone that is looking to start their own landscaping business this is the optimized tool for you it's built specifically to promote your services manage your customer data generate estimates schedule jobs and manage billing so let's get started with Yardbook. To get started with Yardbook, simply head on over to yardbook.com and then click on join today. It's completely free. Once you do that, you're going to enter your details. So first off, I'm going to enter my email address. Once you enter your email address, you're going to create a suitable password Then accept the terms and conditions and you have to verify that you are not a robot. So I'm just going to verify that I'm not a robot and then just click on register. Now, once you click on register, you are going to proceed with your name your business name and your business address so and after that we're going to enter our phone number and then we're just going to be clicking on save now once we do that our dashboard will be created now this is what your dashboard is going to look like on the top right you're going to have your catalog employee and general settings then on the left you have your basic menu including customers jobs estimates invoices, chemicals, equipment, and sitemap. Then on top, you will see a general sitemap, your general settings. Then you will also see your index as well as your uh, to-do list or to-do items or task list. On your top right, you have a quick add where you can quickly add a customer, job, task, visit, estimate, invoice, product, service, employee, or equipment. So to get started, the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your catalog and you want to enter the types of lawn services that you might be providing. So there are some general services that are added by default, including chain link fence, uh, concrete patio walks, grass cutting, landscaping, lawn and garden sprinkler systems, so on and so forth. So you can click on the prices of each of these and start entering your own prices. I'm just going to add a couple of random prices here and you can add whatever prices you are going to be charging. Now, when you click on add over here, you can, let's say we add a new service that is going to be monthly lawn cut and service cut service. Once you do that, you choose what type of uh, service this is, whether this is a service or a product, then you can choose the category. Then you can add the unit price. So let's say it's going to be $100 per 10 square feet. Then you're going to enter the description and the post job instructions. Then you can just click on save. Now, obviously, when you have the type of job where it's going to vary the price based upon how difficult it is or how large the area is, you're obviously going to add a note where you're going to define the, what is going to be entailed so if the area is larger than this smaller than this whether or not your charges are going to be different and how different are they going to be you can also choose to add your tax percentage and as well and you also have sales taxes if you want to charge those now once you add your basic catalog you can click on employees and crew to start adding your employees by default you're going to be added then you can click on add to add other employees if you are working with multiple different employees and if you have a larger team you can add all of your members this includes their basic contact info email as well as their name once you do that you can proceed on to your next step so once you've added your catalog and employees then you can go into your general settings to opt for some personalization. Starting off, you want to upload a company logo. Company logos just make your business seem far more professional and it just makes your business look better. So you wanna add your own logo and once your logo is displayed, you can just click on save. This is the logo that is going to be printed on all of your invoices. Now, once you've done that, you can go back into settings. You can access your settings from here. You can create your company details, invoice settings, as well as your pay now buttons, get a coat button. You can customize all of those items. So we have this get a coat button. And from here, we can customize this if we want to hide lawn mowing, lawn aeration, hide seed, touch, seed slash sod, hide cleanup, fertilization, if those are things we do not want to provide quotations for. So currently this is going to be the get code button and we can copy this and include the button. 
Now, once we've done that, we can move forward and start designing some of our website elements by clicking on sitemap. Now, when we go into our sitemap, we have our jobs, estimates, employees, and so on. But when you want to actually view what your pages are going to look like, you're going to have to open up your actual catalog and view your products and services. Now on the left, we can go into our dashboard to view a summary, and then we can go into customers on the left to add your customers. You can also do a quick add. Quick add really is going to make it easier for you to add your customers, jobs, or visits, but you can just click on add over here. Once you do that, you can add the customer. Let's say it's Katie. We can add their name, address, and other information. Once we've added the customer, we can go into job. And once we go into job, we can see currently we don't have any jobs. So we can click on the plus icon on the top. We have three types of jobs we can add. We can add a visit, we can add a job, and we can add a task. So let's say this is going to be a job. We're going to specify the name, the email, the billing address, and for jobs. We're going to first add a customer and their address. Once we do that, you guys will see the customer has been added. Now when I go into jobs, I can click on job and this will ask me to select the description, the property address, the schedule, as well as the products and services that they're going to be availing. You can add it from your product catalog and you can click here to view your catalog as well. And just like that, you can add jobs into your yardbook dashboard. Now, if you want to just add a simple task, you can also add that, whether it's payroll or any other task related to your business. Then you also have a visit. So oftentimes in the lawn mowing or yard keeping business, you are going to have to do some visits. So you can enter the property address wherever it is, and it's going to find the property address. And then you can enter the description of the type of visit this is and the start date and start time. So this is your job section. Now, after that, you also have your estimate section where people can get an estimate of the different services that you are providing. So you can add a item. Let's say we have a concrete patio or walk repair and we can add the item to the estimate. After that, we can also provide the per unit value. So it's going to be six per unit. And then you can add other items. You can add the payment terms, discounts, past due amounts as well and then you can send out these estimates to your potential customers now for build customers you can go directly into invoices and add their invoices and then after that you also have chemicals and equipments that you can add so if you have any type of equipment that can be logged here especially if you have multiple different team members that are going to be working it's easier to keep track of everything when it's going to be logged onto yardbook so this is how you can get started with yardbook i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or queries you guys can leave those in the comments down below i would love to know what you guys have to say